Hey guys, JD presents 9345. Back with another Lego Star Wars video. Today we will be reviewing an older set, set 75152, the Imperial Saw Hover Tank, ages 7 to 12, has 385 pieces, and would cost you $30 in the US. You know, brand new, but it's retired now, so it might cost you $40, $50 right now. So let's start with the minifigures. So first off, we started with the Imperial Hover Tank Pilot. You get two of these. So um, oh, you can start with, they have like um, a chest plate, much like a shore trooper, kind of. Their helmet is just like one, but I think it's a bit different in the clone face. But the helmet is really nice detailing, you know. They made this um, new for um, for the Scarif, not Scarif, um, for the Rogue One sets. And you can see he's got some black armor painting. You can see he's got like regular stormtrooper legs, regular utility belt, and just then then you have like a newer breastplate kind of. And then the back you have um a, a newer design. It's I guess for the pilots and everything, but really nice figures. They're they still remain exclusive to the set. Though their pieces were recolored, they still remain exclusive to the set. Now the final most interesting figure, of course, would be Chirrut Imwe. Now, Chirrut Imwe is a really cool figure, in my opinion. They did a lot of good detail to him. First of all, on his face, you have their white eyed because, you know, he's blind in the movie. And I like this hair, the way they use the hair piece. And he does have a back face print. I'll show you that after we take a look at the weapons. Anyway, so here we have this cloth piece, which has some nice printing. Goes all the way around. And um, there's nothing underneath. They're just normal black legs. He has a staff, which is made up of two lightsaber hilts and two lightsaber blade pieces. Now you can just take it off like that. Get a better look at the minifigure. So he's got a white glove and his regular um, flesh color. Then over here, you have like a little sound device, I think. I think. I No, I'm not 100% sure about this. I think that's how he knew where the stormtroopers were in the scene on Jakku. Um, I'm sorry. Jedi, not Jakku. So over here, you got like a little utility belt kind of thing. Because on the back, he has his crossbow gun. It's really cool. So what they did is they just have regular gun and they added um, these attachments to it. So anyways, he holds it like this. And then, because on the back, you can just do something like that. So you can have multi-tool. And now you can get a better look at his more happy face. I should probably show you the back. Here's the back of it. It's actually very detailed. You can see some robe detail and everything. But yeah, very nice figure. Chirrut Imwe. He's a very nice figure. Sorry for that. It was kind of hard. For, it's kind of hard for me to get the head back there. But overall, very nice figures in the set already. $30, you get three excellent minifigures. So let's go to the hover tank. First, we'll take a look at the cargo it's carrying. Now, we spoil this for Rogue One if you haven't seen it. You probably have though, so little warning. And here, they're supposed to be kyber crystals. What? But let's just look at the general shape first. It's very nice for a box like this, and it's pretty big. Like, compared to the minifigure, pretty big. But it's very nice. Yeah, you can open it. And in the movie, kyber crystals but they don't want to spoil the movie since this came out in like september before the movie so you have some macro binoculars and a pistol so that's very nice it's a nice inclusion in the set so now let's move on to the tank so for the tank you can get its general shape i love its general shape has a lot of detailing over here with the grooves and you can see just from the look of it that it's a tank but like it's a really nice tank it kind of it reminds me a bit of like tanks from our world kind of just like it how it just feels cool you know it just feels right as a tank so over here you have two sidearm blasters which move all the way up like this. And then over here is the main blaster. And I think you can see it, but they got two spring-loaded shooters for that. The nice thing they have about it though, 
that they're really concealed. You can only see their tips. Unless if you go underneath, like right here. Oh, actually, you can't even see them from underneath. But they have wheels underneath, so you can so it can roll really easily on any surfaces. You know, and they do a really good job of covering it up. You can barely see it, so it looks like it's actually hovering. And I see these knobs over here. If you pull them back like so, you can fire them. Now let's get inside. Oh wow! Wow! Yeah, the box fell. So, anyways, you have two storages for you can have two blaster holders to put a weapon on here and here, like so. And then you can open this up, like sorry, like so. So you can have really three places to put troopers inside of this. One is of course over here. Another place to put the trooper, like that. You can see inside, he's got a couple of them, um, place to put stuff on, like right over here, it could be buttons or something. Just have to pretend that. And I'll have to do this with one hand. It's kind of tricky, I apologize. So you put another trooper in, just like here. Again, it's hard with one hand, but I can manage. Nice thing about it too is that they're not, is that they're not connected by any studs, so you can just take them off like that. And over here you can see the firing mechanism. So I have the knob over here. That's just what it is. I can see. Well, let me show you from from the other side now. See. So, anyways, and the third place you can put a trooper is standing up right over here so they're like looking out so it's like they're looking out to see if there are any enemies over there and there's one more kind of bonus thing you can do with this is you can actually put a trooper on here but you know why would you want to do that well because this over here is a little blaster holder so Hit him a blaster right over here, which is very nice. So now I will get on to my final thoughts. So in my opinion, this is a very nice set for $30. For $30, you get three main figures, which are spectacular, still exclusive to this day. 385 piece, which is also very good. You get a lot of weapons, and generally you get a lot of viability if you want to play with it. If you get a second one of these, you can put it on like that so you can have two of these which is very nice and um i think it's a great addition to the imperial army so i give it an a plus see you guys in the next review